All right, we're here with the uh, Midwestern State Mustangs following a 3-1 win over Newman in the second semifinal of the 2018 Heartland Conference Men's Soccer Championship Tournament. Uh, in the middle, we have head coach Michael Meacham. To our right is Hikorohito Mike. Yes. Uh, and then to our left is Connor Caesar. Uh, coach, just give us a couple uh, couple thoughts on the match, and then we'll, we'll get into questions. Well, first, I want to congratulate Newman. I thought they came out and played an unbelievable game. Um, I think it's tough to play a team three times and especially beat a team three times. Um, and they knew that they were kind of obviously moving conferences, so they wanted to leave with a, a good taste in their mouth. And they came here and fought real hard and, and, and took us all the way in. So, I mean, I congratulate them. And I, I congratulate these boys and the rest of the guys out there that they came in and they went through a little adversity giving up the first goal mm -hmm. so early. But they got, they got, we kind of knew that we had a little bit more in the tank. We kind of made a few little adjustments and talked a little bit at halftime, and I thought they really came out and, and kind of showed what they had and, and, and kind of took it to them the first, <coughs> first half of the second half. And then Newman kind of jumped back in it and looked like they were dangerous again, and then we kind of could put the game to bed when Hika got in behind and then Caesar scored the, the third goal to kind of just kill the game. Yeah, kind of talk about that um... – just what was going through y'all's minds after conceding that early goal off of a rebound, you know, not uh, not something that was necessarily in the run of play, um, but just found a rebound that hit the back of the net. Yeah, I mean, we've we've uh, we've experienced it a few times this season, and it's something we we are working on as a team. But we've we've uh, reacted very well every time that it's happened, and uh, I think today it was just we know uh, what we're <coughs> capable of as a team. Um, and when things like that happen, it's just uh, about grinding a result out and working together to try and get something out of the game, which I think we did. We obviously did well today. So, okay, take us through that uh, that that goal for you, the game winner. Um, what kind of as you were getting on that breakaway, what was going through your mind, and and just kind of walk us through that goal. Oh, I mean, first of all, like I didn't expect ex expect that like the number fifteen was gonna give away the ball, but I just kept running, so just believe that like I could I could get the ball, and I mean obviously like keeper was trying to just cut the side, so I just put the ball in the air and then. Fortunately, he just went in it. Went in it. He's being very, uh, being, being yeah. very nice. I mean, there's, there's 99 percent of the people in the country would have blasted that in the goalkeeper, and yeah. he was he he extremely, player. extremely technical kid. And when he got in that chance, he, he was, he was calm enough to, to put a ball over a goalkeeper, which there's not many people in the country that were going to do that. Talk about, um, coach, this, the season for this team. <clears throat> Um, and just reflecting on a lot of uh, players that you had to fill in for that left last year after graduating, um, uh, you know, playing a lot of young players, some new players of the program like Erwin Regulus, who uh, who's playing in his first year here, and then to be able to continue that consistency even after uh, a head coaching change. Just talk about what what's been special about this team this year. No, it's a great it's it, it's a great group. I mean, when you're going through the recruiting process with guys and, and you're telling them they they obviously want to be here because we've been successful. Um, it's there's we're not gonna hide it or anything like that. So they want to be here because we're successful and, and we we through the recruiting process we talk about them and tell them the expectations and tell them the standards and and they buy in from day one and they're not it's not always please and thank you. I mean I don't tell them I tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. So they they know the expectations of not only myself but. The players in the past and and coaches in, in the past and that sort of stuff so they they knew coming in to this group that we were returning a lot of guys and then we had a guy like Hika that broke his foot last year that came in and Caesar transferred in and and they knew what they were getting themselves into and they were comfortable with the expectations and what we were going to ask of them so and it's the whole group I mean there's 29 30 guys on our roster and they all came here for one reason and and, and that's to to uphold the standards that we've set. I mean, we, we don't ask them to win every game. We just ask them to perform the best of their ability every game. And, and I think that's what's special about this group. I mean, they came into a team that hadn't lost a game in a in basically a calendar year, and they were able to hold that standard and, and quote-unquote pressure of guys that, that weren't a part of the 23 games, 23 games before that. And it takes a lot – of special kids and of special players and a special person to to be able to 
to put that on their back and play, and I'm super, super, super proud of them. Caesar, uh, next up for you guys is a rematch with WT, the yeah. the team that ended that streak for y'all. Um, what is uh, what are you guys expecting going into the match, and especially with with so much on the line for both teams, really? Yeah, um, you know, West Texas, um, it's 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 a new concept to me. Um, transferring in this year, uh, I hadn't hadn't experienced it before, and I'd, I'd heard I'd heard things, and I've been told, um, and it really is a tradition. It's it's a it's a special game every time it happens, um, and I think. For it to be in the final on Sunday, it's it's the perfect setup. Um, personally, for me, I couldn't have asked for any anything better for an opportunity to to go back and take what what we we should have taken the first time around. So, I'm I'm really excited. I know the boys are excited too. So, we'll we'll get together tomorrow, work on a few few things, and um, we'll go we'll go in hard for for Sunday. Coach, what are the next 48 hours like for you guys heading into Sunday? Recover, <coughs> recover, regen. Um, talk about a few things. Uh, talk a little bit about West Texas. I mean, obviously we're really familiar with them and they're super familiar with us. Um, but just basically recover, get these guys healthy and, and prepared and ready to play. All right. PK, thoughts going into Sunday's match? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be definitely ready for the game. So, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we win. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.